the best to you from Kmart Radio. It's here, guys. The 95 Plymouth Voyager. So this is the 1995 Plymouth Voyager that we got for $400. So first things first, let's check out this sweet emblem on it. And the driver's door knob is broken, the door handle. It is pushed all the way in there, I think. I think that's it right there. So either we gotta go in the passenger door and open it, or we gotta have the window roll down and just go like that. So let's get behind the wheel, shall we? Alrighty. Uh, extra hubcap. Apparently, the mirror fell off of it, so I'm going to have to put that back up. There is the back of it. The glove box had a West Virginia map in there and a few other things, but I cleaned it out. One of the first things we're going to do is glue this back on the back door. This is the radio. I think this is the original radio because it's still got the cassette tape thing in there. It hasn't been changed to a CD. The conditioner knob seem to work. The cigarette thing seems to work. Cigarette lighter. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Alrighty. This is cool. I like opening the door with the key because the key is Sedona. You could just unlock it with a key fob. But this feels really old school when you do it like this. See, I gotta glue that back on. So this is from the old lady that owned it before the guy who sold it to us. She left a lot of her stuff in here. A lot of the garbage. Uh, a milk crate. Freezer, no crate's a little broken. We might be able to reuse the freezer. I think that's a cat. You hear the dog in the background. And this is one of the first things we're gonna get rid of is this Marshall University. We don't know anyone that went to Marshall's University, so there's no reason to keep that on there. Let's see the sliding door. The inside is pretty mint. I mean, you look at the outside and you probably assume the uh, interior is going to be gross too. But this girl just needs a good washing. The uh, lady left some blankets in here. And here's the thing. If you have a vehicle, always put blankets in it and one of these warming things because in case you break down in the winter you're gonna need something to warm you uh, while you're waiting for a tow truck and whatnot a car accident waiting for the police and ambulance cup holder let's get in here sit on this bench seat what's in here is this open I had to. There's nothing in here, is there? I really should check it before I put my hands down in there. Don't know if there's a spider or something in there. I would not like that. 
the interior is mint. I, it's just, if you're going to buy something, a used car, it's not on, you know, a vehicle lot, buy them from old people. Because they know how to take care of the cars for the most part. On the inside, they're probably unaware of how to take care of them, you know, the engine and whatnot. But they know how to take care of the inside. Okay. Let's slide that shut. And we will pop the hood. And show you what is under there. It's got the 3.0 Mitsubishi engine. We need a new battery for it. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, in the previous video we heard it running. Well, the guy just took a battery out of one of his junk cars and put it in here to show us that it ran. But he didn't sell the battery with the van, so we're going to have to do that. But he did reverse it. He pulled it forward so it can still drive. It runs and drives. And we got this for $400. And it's going to need work. But this is going to be a good work van. Sometimes it might be a grocery getter. Let's see what's under. The underside looks pretty good. I don't see anything sagging. No axle saggage. No anything sagging. So everything seems to be in okay shape. Nothing too bad wrong with it. So there it is, guys. The 95 Plymouth Voyager. I cannot wait to update you as we work on this. Get it looking better. Uh, we're also going to need a bottom here. The blinker. Oh, we might just replace the whole headlight there. Go to a junkyard, pick and pull. So there it is, guys. And wherever you may be, you have a good morning, good night, good afternoon, and yeah.